event. Brought to you from the folks at Frames Auto Supply as they race to Bruce Knowles Dueling Green Flags. And as they head down into turn number one, it's a side-by-side -side battle. Car number 33, Bill Farrell to the inside. Car number 60, Robert Lombardo to the outside, and they haven't moved. But Farrell will lead lap number one. The man looking to find his way to the front right now is in the Frames Auto Supply number 11. Here comes Bill Kipp. Kipp in car number 11 threads the needle and Bill Kipp to the outside of Bill Farrell in car number 33 as Kipp will now try and come to the lead. So Bill Kipp on the move and in the groove. What a battle for position number three. Car number 79 of Bill Wegman just muscling his way through this pack. As Wegman started from the seventh starting position, he's now up to third. Good side-by-side -side battle for the lead. Here comes car number 11 of Bill Kipp. Kipp will lead this time by as Bill Farrell will now be shuffled to second to third car number 79 of Bill Wegman. Uh oh problems, Russell Savoy in the 32 and car number 71 of John Clancy get together. Savoy drifts up high to the wall. Can he get down off the raceway in car number 32? Right front toothbrush is gone on car number 32 of Russell Savoy. Up front it continues to be car number 11. A Bill Kip, nice job by Russell Savoy to get to the infield sportsman-like move by Savoy. Bill Kipp continues to lead. Bill Wegman has now come to second. Car number 79, and ladies and gentlemen, the second half of 1995 has belonged to Bill Wegman. He comes to the front here each and every Saturday night in car number 79. To third, car number 33 of Bill Farrell. Fourth is John King Clancy. To fifth, car number 29 of Kevin McCourt. Folks, we got ourselves a race. Kevin McCourt, car number 29 to fifth. The race leader, car number 11 of Bill Kipp, continues to set the pace as this race is sponsored by his sponsors. So Kipp doing a great job right now to lead this event. Second is the 79 of Bill Wegman. Third, car number 33 of Bill Farrell. Fourth, car number 71 of John Clancy, but he to feel the heat to the high side of the raceway from your defending champion in car number 29, Kevin McCourt. Right now, your point leader, Bobby Gardner, towards the back of the pack is Kevin McCourt, about to enter the top five in car number 29. Bill Kipp continues to set the pace in car number 11. 11 laps down, nine laps remain for Kipp. Bill Wegman is second, third, car number 24 of slick pick Tom Pickerell. He is on the move and in the groove to the inside of fourth place runner John Clancy. Bill Kipp continues to lead, but now he finds Bill Wegman right on the rear bumper. Wegman looking to nail down his first feature event win of his career. But Bill Kipp now enjoys about a car and a half length lead. Scott Seppi goes around in car number six. Up front it continues to be car number 11 of Bill Kipp. 14 laps down, six laps remain for Kipp. Bill Kipp, who is sponsored by Frames Auto Supply, looking to win his sponsor's event here tonight. He is on the move and in the groove. The second place automobile of Bill Wegman is starting to show wisps of smoke, which soon could become clouds of smoke. Oh, Paul Johnston. Tough break here on the front straightaway, and we will have a yellow flag. Paul Johnston in trouble here on the front stretch. Green flag flies. It is Kip to lead the way. Wegman is second. Slick pick Tom Pickerell is third. Let's see how it unfolds here over the last few laps. The frames auto supply number 11 for Bill Kip. 
running in the lead. Bill Wegman is second. Third, car number 24, Slick to Tom Picarell, the defending Blood of Us champion, Kevin McCourt, sits fourth in car number 29. And the number 71, again another strong run for the Sparks Brothers Racing, number 71 of John Clancy. Bill Kipp leads the way. He looks as though he will take down the win as they have three laps left. Kipp's car sliding a little bit now off turn number four, though. And that could be a problem that Kip not looking forward to having to deal with over these final three circuits. That smoke starting to show itself once again from the back of the Wickman automobile, but it is not putting any fluid down on the raceway, so NASCAR officials have deemed that the car is okay. And Tom Piccarell, third. Two to go signal from starter Bruce Knoll. Bruce Knoll with the two to go signal. Bill Wegman closes in on the back bumper of leader Bill Kipps. They go to turn three. Wegman maybe with an idea of making a run to the inside. And that would be a good idea because Kipps car is getting awfully loose in the corners. The white flag flies. Bill Kipp trying to hold on for one more quarter mile to take down his sponsor's event. Can he do it? Wegman closes in. Slick pick, Tom Piccarell closes in. Kevin McCourt looking to come to third. It'll be Bill Kemp over Bill Wegman, Tom Piccarell, Kevin McCourt, John Clancy. Sixth is Jason McGarry. Seventh was Bobby Gardner. Well, what a better way to impress a sponsor than win the race he is sponsoring here at the Raceway. And that's exactly what Bill Kipp just did in car number 11. Winning the Frames Auto Supply 20 for the Blunderbust. He is sponsored by Frames Auto Supply. That is Bill Kipp. Abba Sheet Metal also helping out on that automobile along with RT Motorsports. And he will take the victory lap. And let him have a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, when he does. A lot of pressure when your sponsor is sponsoring the race. He decided to show his sponsor how he can do it. And here he goes with the traditional Alan Kowicki type victory lap. Big round of applause, folks. He can hear you because he's closest to the wall. To the winner, Bill Kipp. Kipp taking the victory lap. Taking down the victory. Heading to victory lane where they'll get some frames, auto supply, hats, and shirts that we raffled off to the folks as well. Let's get downstairs.